Good morning and welcome to a, another Top Tip Tuesday and another one of my marketing tips um, for today. So um, you can see in the description today we're going to be talking about business pages on Facebook versus using a pro personal profile. So one of my colleagues um, and lovely follower Chris brought this to my attention last week in my um, Facebook Live and was asking my thoughts about using um, your personal profile for marketing purposes. Um, I have never really used my personal profile for marketing and I've always been an adamant believer that you should use a business profile. But it did get me thinking about, um, sorry, using a personal profile and would that be beneficial for marketing? So sometimes if I'm working on a really cool project or something, I will share it on my personal page. But for me, my personal stuff is personal and my business page is business. However, did get me thinking, I thought I'm going to do a bit of research and try and find out, Chris. So I hope you see this and I hope you're watching. Um, but basically, from what I found out is that we all know about Facebook algorithms and quite often you post something it doesn't seem get seen by loads of people and it's quite frustrating. Um, posting on your personal page actually gets seen um, by more people. That is a fact. More of your friends are going to see the things that you post. There is still, um, you know, times when I post things and not every single one of my friends would see it. But personal posts do get more engagement than business posts. However, oh, we've just got a, wait a minute, I've got a comment here. Morning, Oliver. Nice to see you. Um, um, I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> um, yeah, so all your friends, not all your friends will see things, but that it, it is a fact that you will get more engagement on um, personal posts than business posts. So um, I just have done a bit of research and a little bit of digging around to try and find out the differences and what I would recommend that people do in terms of marketing. So I have always been a massive believer in using a business page. And I'm gonna give you some of my top tips of why using a business page is probably more effective than using your personal page. So tip number one, with a business page, you can schedule. So on your personal page, you can't do any scheduling, but busy business people, you've got things to do, you've got a business to run, you've got places to go, you've got people to see. Um, Scheduling on social media is a really, really helpful tool. I've talked about this loads in previous Facebook Lives that I've done. If you can schedule posts, say once a week, you can plan out your content and you can sit back and you sort of you forget, forget about your social media for a week rather than, um, other than commenting and engaging with people. Um, you, you, your posts are sorted. You can't schedule posts to a personal page. Now, this is fine. If you don't believe in scheduling, you don't want to schedule stuff and you're quite happy to sit down every day and churn out posts, that will work for you. But if you use any sort of scheduling tool, using your personal page is not going to work. Tip number two is advertising. So on a personal page, you're not able to do any advertising to promote your business. Whereas on a business page, you can do this. And I've had some really successful campaigns for clients where we've done Facebook advertising, whether that's getting more likes, encouraging people to view certain posts on your page, driving traffic to your website, um, increasing sales, generating leads. Doing all this through your business page is possible, but it's not possible on your personal Facebook page. So it depends if you want to do any advertising for your business or not. Um, but that's something to consider. There's also the thing about if you have a business page, you can create this little bit of code called a pixel, a Facebook pixel that you can plant in your website. And then what your Facebook um, page and your website do, they sort of talk to each other. So Facebook knows who has been looking at your website and you can send messages to them as well. You can do this thing called retargeting and send specific adverts to those people too. 
So you can do that on a business page, but you can't do it on a profile page. And the third thing is analytics. So again, on your business page, one of the best things that you can do is look at your insights. If you've never scrolled look through that extra menu where it says insights and you run a business and have a Facebook page, I would urge you to go look at your insights because it's a hive of information. It tells you all sorts. You can see um, who's been on your page, when, you've, when they've been on your page. You can see how many like, new likes you've got. You can see where your followers live. Um, you can see what posts are performing well like that's a really good one to know what does work and what doesn't work um so have a look at that as well but again you can't do that on a personal page so there are many many more benefits of using the business page over a personal page however however there is a school of thought that you could use a bit of both now Personally, for me, I wouldn't want to start using my personal page for Facebook because I've got all my past schoolmates on there. I've got all my uni mates. I've got random people I know from the town. I've got all my family. My mum's on there. My auntie Glenda's on there. Um, you know, those are the type of people that engage with my personal page. Now, if I start writing loads of business posts on there, it's going to get seen by like my mum and my auntie Glenda, who were going to comment on it. But really, are they going to buy my services? They'll probably tell people about stuff I do, but then they're not really to my target customer. So I would say, if you've got a personal page with loads of friends on it, either delete all your mates, <laughs> get rid of them, and be strategic about who you friend. So befriend business colleagues, um people that maybe you would want to do business with because like i said at the beginning there is this school of thought where you do get more engagement on personal posts so if you make lots of friends that are business colleagues potential customers that kind of thing and you post a few like i wouldn't say overly salesy posts but general posts chatty discussional posts then you're probably likely to get a good engagement as well um, the other thing to think um, is the kind of things you post on there as well. So you don't really want to be posting if you've been on a hen do or a stag do and all your drunk pictures. So you've got to be, you've got to think about having your personal page, but with a business hat on. And is it appropriate for business? Now, if you think your friends list is all business colleagues and that you're going to post work related things, then um, potentially having a personal page that is work focused and a business page could could work and doing a bit of both on each potentially um, could be a good good thing. So try posting on both. That's what I would say. Don't think I'm not going to have a business page because you lose all those things like the scheduling, the advertising, the insights and so much more. But if you want to increase engagement, you could post on your personal page as well. I would also say try and keep some branding on there. So, you know, you have your cover photo on your personal page, you know, make that something like a, a, a like a work networking event or, or something work related. Um, so then people can identify that it's you because a lot of people know me and my business by Acorn Marketing. But then if they get a friend requ request from Lisa Jackson, um, they might not know who I am until they click on my page and say, ah, oh, it's Acorn Marketing. So um, try and maybe keep some branding in there. Um, so be selective in your friends. If you are going to use a personal page for business, be selective in your friends. Be very aware of what you post and don't be overly salesy. Um, still have a business page so you get the insights and analytics and the benefits of having a, bit, a, a business page and try different posts on both. Um, uh, yeah, and keep some branding on there as well. Um, personally, having um, using a personal page for business is not for me, but I know like my good friend Chris is trying it out. There is no harm in giving it a whirl. So you can always try that and see and see. Um, so yeah, so personally, I would always say if you really focused on your marketing, it is best to use a business profile. But there are a few little advantages of um, 
doubling up and having your personal profile for work as well. So I hope that's been helpful and helps you think. If you've got any thoughts, like drop them in the comments. I'd be really interested to see if you've tried it or you've got an experience of using um, your personal page for business as well. Um, it'd be good to have a little discussion and see what people think. If you also have any ideas, like Chris um, wrote in my comments last week about this, so I've done a Facebook Live on it today. If you have any other thoughts or any other comments, burning questions to do with marketing, please leave a question and I will look at doing a Top Tip Tuesday marketing tip about that in the future. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in and I'll be back live next Tuesday. Have a good day.